I'll be very brief. First, I think over the weekend when we were attending church in uh, Kawangware, and I happened to be with uh, uh, my brother, Senator Wetangula, one of the questions that came through the media was that we have not seen official communication to the effect that you have formally withdrawn from the NASA coalition. So today we want to put it beyond any other doubt that each of the parties represented here have now formally written to the Registrar of Political Parties to put an end to the issue of NASA, our affiliation to NASA. When we finish here, uh, our party officials shall be able to share with you uh, once the registrar has stamped officially receipt of these letters that it is now done or the deed is done. So I hope with that we shall put closure to that particular uh, issue. Now, the second thing is for us to just emphasize NASA is now behind us. It is behind us. So I would like to request members of the 4th Estate that it will no longer be news if you are coming to ask us about NASA. <laughs> it is behind us. Let us now look at new formations, new reorganizations, the way the parties here, and remember One Kenya is not a closed shop. We shall engage other Kenyans, and as we move across, systematically move forward, we shall then make announcements that will be meaningful and that will make sense uh, to the people of Kenya. Finally, I just want to emphasize that let us not confuse Kenyans with semantics. Let us not start talking to Kenyans about which model or that model. You know, we are beyond economic classes. The challenges facing Kenya are not academic. Because we are having people saying this is a model from this corner, this is a model from this corner, what is your model? F ladies and gentlemen, let's tell Kenyans the truth. One, do we have a challenge of public debt in this country? Yes. yes. We have it, we acknowledge it. And it's eating across the economy. It's making it difficult for businesses to borrow. All tax revenues, 70% are going to repaying debt. So we know that there is a challenge of debt, so we address it. Do we have a challenge of punitive taxation on the Kenyan people? Yes, we do. Businesses are suffering, are choking under taxation. So we need to find a solution to broaden the economy. We are not saying that Kenyans should not be taxed, but we need to graduate from additional taxation to new taxpayers. How do we create new taxpayers? Tutafanya nini ili watu waingie kwa tax bracket kwa sababu wameanza kupata namna ya kufanya kazi. These are the challenges which we face. Are we facing challenges in the cost of production? Yes, power costs are rendering our manufacturing uncompetitive. Why are we taxing animal feeds to the extent that chicken is cheaper from Uganda and the eggs are cheaper from Uganda? And these issues that we can address through specific policy direction? <coughs> Why do we want to tax a beehive? <laughs> Farmers who are setting up beehives, beekeeping in, in, in Makueni or beekeeping in Baringo, you now impose tax on beehives. 
these are the issues that we just need to address. These do not need theoretical models. To fight against corruption, what model do you need against corruption? <laughs> Other than making sure that people are investigated and taken to court and charged. So let us not confuse Kenyans with semantics. Model he, model he, model he. Some of the people have never even dealt with one of the models in economics. And they're telling you that they are bringing models of economics. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking this specifically to tell you that our agenda is to strengthen and consolidate the economy of this country. That is where we want to go, to create jobs, to bring revival in our agriculture, to bring hope, to bring direction, to make sure that the young people can have access to credit. We don't want to suffocate the banking sector. So we just can do that by being practical and focusing on the right issues. Let us forget the theory of models. Thank you. Nitamalizia hapo, sasa nitamualika ndugu yangu, and we reaffirm that we are going to work together, we are going to pull together, we are going to consult together, and we shall consult with other Kenyans as well. And perhaps, so that it becomes clear, uh, we may not be here with Gideon Moy today, because this was more of a specific issue of the parties that were associated with NASA formalizing the exit. So let that also be known so that any speculation that would have arisen can also be put to rest. He's fully aware of this event. So he was swali, ikitoka sasa haina mana. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Last but not least.